Hey guys, it's Russell with Semper Adventures. What I wanted to do today, real quick, is uh, kind of show you guys some different cooking options, um, all the way from small to kind of larger solutions, and uh, and also unbox my newest find, which I'm super excited about. But we'll cover that here in a second. So if you are just basically, uh, let's say you're going camping and you are backpacking where you don't need to cook for a bunch of people one of these things is very helpful because you just open this up you fold this around and then this has a smaller um, almost uh, probably like two and a half inches high container that you screw on top of it and then what you can do you can just set a pot like this on top so it's probably about this high right Cooking inside of this thing for a man this size is not happening. Uh, so, on our first uh, camping trip, we decided to um, kind of scrap this idea. I've actually never even used it. But it's super cool, so if we were going backpacking or something, I would definitely take this thing with me. Most definitely. And uh, I think I bought it on AliExpress for like five bucks or something, so you can't go wrong with that, right? For sure. So this is option one. Uh, option two is what we decided to use on our first camping trip. Uh, I kind of like this a lot. You can buy these containers at, at Walmart, um, you know, any camping store. You basically take this thing, screw it on top, and I don't want to do that now. Because once you penetrate the seal, uh, you can't take it apart again. And I'm, I'm probably not going to be using this for a while. So you... you Attach this like such, and then you put this on top of here to make it a solid base, and then you can cook with regular sized pots or pans, right? You can make steak, eggs, whatever, whatever else you want. So, or you can get like a little uh, little griddle that you can put on top of there to sear steaks, cook chicken, whatever else you want. But this is what we initially used. This this was great. Again, one burner for a big guy like me. Yeah, not cutting it. Um, so Michelle and I started looking around and I said why don't we buy like a two or three um, station propane cooker right so then right before we went to Utah we decided to buy this thing now this thing is a Mac Daddy it's from Camp Chef as you can tell on the bag and I love it because it comes with a bag uh, oh, it's a two two burner. Sorry, I don't know why I said three burner. They also make these in a three burner, but this is a two burner only. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we have plenty of room for big pots, but uh, as you can tell, the uh, the legs are inside here. And it's got knobs and all that stuff. This is the Yukon. We use this a couple times when we were out camping uh, in Utah. I love it. I love it um, because it's very 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 simple to set up. Super simple to set up, and it's got plenty of room. And like I said, it comes with a bag. You can't beat that. It's got the legs inside of here that you just attach on the bottom, uh, or I guess you can just set it on top of a of a, uh, a table like this. But we use the legs. You put it next to the camper, and then we just cook wherever we want. Like I said, this thing is super easy. Very, very, very easy to set up. Um, one thing I don't like about it is a little large. So it does take up a lot of spot inside the a lot of room inside the camper, but but that's okay. Um, like I said, we use this quite a bit. Uh, we cooked all kinds of stuff, made some breakfast on it. You know, it's it's phenomenal. Uh, price point, I can't exactly remember how much it was. I do know that it was uh, cheaper than many of the other options that we were considering. Uh, and then I did a lot of research on uh, Camp Chef, and they do make good products. So they, they obviously have a warranty that, uh, you know, they're backed 100%. If you break it within a first year or something, they'll replace it for free, and that's great. So we used this, and I loved it. So about two weeks ago, I went on a trip with some friends, and we visited a Cabela's in Tennessee. And, of course, because I'm a, uh, a camping nerd, what I decided to do is, you know, go look around and see what I can find. I didn't want to spend any money uh, because, um, you know, we're trying to uh, hold on to everything that we got. But I 
found something incredible and I wanted to share that with you guys. All right. Let me see. Make a little bit of room on this table. Are you ready? Are you ready? We found this. What is this you say? It's an outdoor oven, right? So first of all, I was like, wait a minute. What does this thing run on? How much is it? I was thinking it's going to be probably about 400 bucks. Um, I walked out of Cabela's with a military discount paying $230. This thing runs on propane. It is absolutely freaking incredible. I've, uh, while I was in the store, it took like 30, 45 minutes to do some uh, research on, on reviews and all that stuff. And, uh, you know... Reviews are very subjective. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But the overwhelming majority of people loved this thing. Uh, what I wanted to do today is I just wanted to open it up for you guys and, uh, you know, see what you thought. And then just try to give you some feedback. Okay? Let's open it up. I love opening new things. So I'll have to tell you, um, I already told you where I got this from. I'm not sponsored by Camp Chef or by anybody. No one's paying me to make this. This is just, um, you know, not even a review. I just wanted to open it. It's an unboxing. Show you what's inside the box. And, uh, you know, give you my thoughts. So, I hope you find this useful. Of course, we have these amazing things. Love this. We'll put this aside. Don't need that. Ooh, oh, first impressions, the lid is matte black, my favorite color, doesn't really mean a hill of beans when you try to cook on it or anything, but it is matte black, and I love matte black, alright, so let me put this down here, open this up, okay, Alright, very nice, very nice, it's got a temperature gauge here for the oven, I like that, it says that it comes with a bag, okay, is this not the most satisfying thing ever, like taking these strips of plastic off, it's like the best, when you buy a brand new TV, you get to pull it off, it's like, yes, but normally, that's generally reserved for somebody who paid for this stuff. I just bought a new TV a couple months ago, and I had the honor of taking the tape off the sides. It was incredible. Yeah, I love it. All right, one more. I know that wasn't the most exciting. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see. All right, in the box, you have an uh, instruction manual, which... It's very helpful. Some more tape here, here. As you can see, this is a two burner stove. Uh, kind of cool. And one thing I like about it, it's got this windshield here. And it just uses these little uh, clips to push it inside. And then you have like a nice little windshield. Kind of cool. Shifted the table, but sorry. So here now you have like a little windshield, which is kind of dope. Uh, obviously, you cannot use the largest pots on this because there's not a lot of room. So maybe one of these smaller pots, or probably even like a 12 inch, and a 12 inch, and maybe you know a smaller one like that. Uh, that should probably fit, but yeah. I mean, for two people, I think this, this is going to be great. First thing Michelle said is, ooh, we can make tacos. Yeah, we can make tacos. Funny story about tacos. I, uh, when I first met Michelle two and a half years ago, I did not know that you had to cook the taco shells in the oven. So we were on our first trip together, and 
she's like, make, let me make you make, ta let me make tacos for you. So I was like, great, let's make tacos. I freaking love tacos. Made the taco meat, got all the sides out and all that stuff, and uh, starts to heat up the oven. And I'm looking at her like, what are you doing? She's like, you have to cook the taco shells. You have to bake them. I didn't know this. And then I was, as I was eating the taco shells, I realized, yeah, that's probably the reason why the taco shells tasted so mealy, like very, I don't know, not done, I guess, for all these years, but we've always eaten them. I never got sick, so it's kind of weird, but I guess I'm weird. I didn't know that. Uh, open this up. Uh, take this off. It's got two grates inside here. Let me see, what is this? What is this? This looks like the propane attachment. Like I said, this thing takes propane, which is great because I have a, a propane tank inside of the camper. Alright, it's kicking my butt. Here we go. this is I think this is some sort of well this is out right. so it looks like it takes one of these which is kind of cool huh. all right I'll have to figure that out but this looks like it fits um, and I think this screws does I'll show you so it takes I thought it took a regular propane tank looks like that's not the case so uh, maybe I can save me some weight in the truck or in the camper that's great but here I love this little uh, little handle which is great because this is metal and obviously as this heats up you're gonna burn crap out of your hands so let me show you how this uh, connects in the package just figured out So this uh, attaches to here, just screws in. There you go. You screw this on and then that's it. And then you can uh, use the oven. Very nice. I like it. Obviously as your transporting you take this off interesting so let's see oh duh. all right apparently English is not my strong suit it says available accessories which means it does not come with the bag I'm very sorry so I'll need to go buy a bag and then uh, if you want to get a different uh, if you want to use a regular propane tank, you can also buy this adapter, and um, I guess I'll have to do that. So I'll do that later today. Yeah, that way I don't have to lug these things around. These things are great, but you know, it's uh, much rather use use a larger propane tank. Is well, pretty much never run out of propane. But this is it. I like it. First impressions. Um, it's very shiny. And um, seems very, 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 very well built. It's not, there's no plastic on it at all. It's all metal. All this is metal. Everything's made out of metal. Looks like fairly easy to clean. Pull these out. Lift this up. You can clean this. That protects the burner down there. But yeah, no, it's, um, Pretty solid, I like it. I like it. There you go, yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Alright, well that's it. But yeah, I like said this is it. Paid uh, about 230, 220 bucks for it with the uh, military discount. 
And um, I like it. Like I said, first impressions, I think it's very well built. I look forward to using it. Very much so. Actually, we hopefully will go to uh, Uwari in North Carolina within the next week or so. I'll definitely uh, then get a chance to uh, check it out and maybe post another video and you know, I'll tell you guys what I think once I start using it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe as we are working on building this channel uh, and also um, you know, maybe bringing you more unboxings and, or, or just showing you different kinds of things that we use uh, when we go camping. All right, appreciate you. Again, Russ from Separate Adventures. Thank you, guys.